The Simplicity Bias Tape Maker is an excellent tool to have in your sewing room and will make making custom bias tape a piece of cake. The machine makes four different sizes of single fold bias tape, quarter inch, half inch, three quarters of an inch, and one inch, and two different sizes of quilt binding tape, one inch and one and a quarter inch. So you have a wide variety to suit any size project you may have. This machine is super easy to use. First, place the adjustable guide bar in the slot next to the holder. Then make sure you have your strip of fabric ready, cut to the correct size required by the tip you are using. Then you can insert the end of your fabric into the slot on the winding spindle. Then tuck it under the metal clip. Then wind the strip around the roller, making sure it is tightly wound. Then this sits on the far end of your machine. Now drape your fabric over the guide bar and adjust the silicone stopper to the width of your fabric. Now you want to trim off the end of your fabric strip into a point and feed that end into the tip. My fabric strip is two inches wide, so I'm going to use the one inch tip. And then I'm just going to use my seam ripper to gently feed that point through the gap in the top until it comes out the other end. Then you can pull it through. Now you can slot the tip into the machine. Plug the machine in and switch it on using the red on off switch. You can then set the iron temperature dial depending on what fabric you're using. You can see here that they have listed different types of fabric. I'm using a cotton fabric, so I'm just going to turn my dial and set it to cotton. If you're using a silk or satin type fabric, make sure you set the iron heat lower so you don't melt your fabric. Now, wait until the green ready light flicks on. Once it's flicked on, take off the cover to the iron and pull the fabric over the top of the iron it should stick out just past the roller. Now you can replace the heating element cover by sliding it away from the tip to lock it into place. Now press the run button to start the roller. This will start feeding your fabric through the iron. Once your entire strip of fabric has passed through the iron, press the run button again to stop feeding the fabric. And then you can turn off the machine. And there's your result. You can see how easy it is to make a whole roll of your own bias tape. The bias tape maker also has a feature which will automatically turn the machine off after 10 minutes of inactivity. For most of the binding types, I've been able to use the roller and the adjustable stand and I've seen great results. But for the one and a quarter tip, I've had better results by just holding the fabric and guiding it through instead. We've also found that the original insert for the one and a quarter tip has varying success with feeding seams through. So to fix that, we have manufactured our own insert that you can use for this tip, which is only available from us at Echidna Sewing. If you buy your bias tape maker from us, you will get the custom tip included in your order. But if you already have the machine, you can also buy the custom tip separately. We also have a video on how to swap the inserts over, so go check that out too. And now you have some lovely custom bias tape. And that's how easy it is to use your Simplicity Bias Tape Maker.